Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and ask the question that my colleague Adam Beam of the AP tried to ask. Um, we could hear him on the line, but it sounds like you couldn't. Um, he wanted to know if you have uh, lost credibility after photos have circulated of you at the birthday party earlier this month. You weren't wearing a mask in those photos, and yet you were talking very closely with other people. Um, can, you, can you speak to that and tell us what precautions you were taking at that party? You said you'd taken precautions, but it was not clear that that was happening from those photos. Yeah, no, I made a mistake. I apologized. We had dinner, uh, 4 o'clock dinner, in an orange-tiered county. Um, we're not telling people they can't eat, uh, but indeed, uh, I made a mistake being with a few extra people beyond uh, the guidelines that I've been promoting, which is outside the households. So that was a mistake. Um, and I let my guard down and I apologize for it. And, uh, and we're moving to correct that in terms of uh, working hard, working harder every single day. Never made that mistake before. I haven't made it since and I won't make it again, period, full stop. Friday with Dr. Burks at the White House about the science behind curfew. She said she didn't want to second guess your decision, but pointed to like Miami where they did a curfew and they found that it didn't really work because it drove a lot of people to go to house parties, which ended up spreading the virus more. And I'm wondering if you can expand upon the science of the curfew decision and that concern that it might lead to other worse behavior. No, and, and I, I really appreciate that question. I'll ask uh, Dr. Galley uh, answer that more specificity. But you may recall last Monday, I implied uh, my own hesitancy as it relates to uh, being open to argument, interested in evidence based upon the studies that have been conducted. And we have the benefit of three studies. And, and, and some show some very positive behavioral uh, changes, others a little more inconclusive. So I'm very aware uh, of, of that in the context of this ongoing debate. Uh, but we, based upon not only the analysis and review of those studies, but based upon our engagement with our colleagues across this country, health officers across the country, other governors, uh, and their review, uh, based upon all of that, we made the assessment uh, that we wanted to give this a go. Dr. Galley could talk more specifically uh, about his independent analysis, uh, not just the analysis that was conducted in those three studies that we were referring to. Yeah, uh, thank you for the question. And, and I'll tell you one of the things that we did, I believe differently than some other uh, states with a curfew. And remember we called ours a limited stay at home because part of the uh, entire approach and concept was not just to ask business sectors to stop operating between those times of 10 and 5 a.m., but also that household gatherings shouldn't occur. So, you know, the guidance isn't just a let's not do it in the businesses, in the restaurants, in the bars, in the other areas, or even outside in the open. And although really difficult to uh, enforce or regulate, the signal and the message is, and don't take these same activities indoors because that's exactly where uh, spread could occur. So it was meant to complement the other uh, effects of curfews from other areas and enhance it with an additional restriction for the time limited period of uh, about four weeks, 30 days in the purple counties. So it was really that sort of one, two punch to try to reduce transmission across our state. Yeah, and so that's, I mean, the bottom line is none of us are ideological about this in the spirit of your question. Uh, we are open to argument, interested in evidence. We've committed to a four-week process uh, based upon the significant increase in, uh, in transmission rates. Uh, we believe in a more targeted and effective strategy than just going back uh, to a full lockdown in the state of California based uh, upon where we are today. And so that was the determination. Uh, we're leaning into that, and we will be very cognizant uh, of its, uh, its cause and effect. And we are very, very open about it, not stubborn about that analysis and review.